हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज आवर थर्ड लेसन दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू जनरल एक्सेप्शन सो लेट्स ग्रो गो थ्रू द इंट्रोडक्शन वेन एवर अ पर्सन कमिट्स अ क्राइम दैन अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रोविजन्स ही और शी नीड्स टू बी पनिश्ड बट इट इज नॉट ऑलवेज नेसेसरी दैट अ पर्सन गेट्स पनिश्ड फॉर अ क्राइम ही और शी हैड कमिटेड The Indian Penal Code (IPC) 1860 gives defences in Chapter 4 under General Exceptions. Section 76 to Section 106 covers these defences, which are based on the circumstances prevailing at that point of time, mens rea of person. and responsi- responsibility of action of that accused what that means it means that whenever a person had committed a crime then the court gives a chance to uh, prove his or her innocence and chapter 4 mentions such defenses and the general exceptions are Seventy six, section seventy six to section one hundred and six. So let's go go through section six. Throughout this code, every definition of an offence, every penal provision, and every illustration of every such definition or penal provision shall be understood. subject to the exception contained in the chapter entitled general exceptions that for every penal provision this exception need to be listed again and again need not to uh, need not to be listed again and again all the penal provision have to be read keeping in mind these exceptions what are the general exceptions the first one is mistake section uh, 76 and section 79 judicial act section 77 and section 78 accident section 80 necessity section 81 infancy section 82 and section 83 unsound mind section 84 intoxication section 85 and 86 consent section 87 to section 91 private defense section 96 to section 106 the court will not presume note that the court will not presume that the accused should be covered under general exception but as per section 105 of the indian evidence act 1882 the defense has to prove the reason why the act falls under general exception what that means the court will not at all presume that you are uh, you will be covered under the general exception but only the defense has to prove that the person falls under general exception